Hey, y'all. All right, yesterday was 2016 Mama. Um, I got to catch a lot of it via live tweets. Some of you got an email from me um, talking about it be posted on Periscope. Well, wasn't able to do that because the particular space that would have been filming from, they weren't allowed to have their phones. So that kind of killed that. But this isn't what this is about. This is about God 7 And it's not very frequent that I make videos in this type of tone about God 7 but I definitely wanted to acknowledge some things. So yesterday they won the worldwide fan um, or worldwide liking. I can't even remember the formal name. It, honest to goodness, isn't that important. It is cool and amazing that the boys did win and I went in the shock about it. That's not an exaggeration for a YouTube video. I legit couldn't process what I was seeing. I was so proud of them. And then... um. When my brain kind of clicked back into what was going on because I I started crying and everything like a whole segment after the fact. I just I couldn't I couldn't process it. And I was crying because I was proud, but also crying because Jackson got on stage in his his home country and said a lot of you might not know us, um but we're got seven. And within 20 to 40 minutes later, they had to do a performance and got called Monster X on the actual little pop-up that shows what song and group is performing. Okay. God 7 been around for three years as of January. And y'all still putting the same limits on them for Mama Awards? Like... Okay, yeah, they're competing against EXO and BTS and things of that sort. But those groups didn't share a stage with anybody. And GOT7 had to do another year of sharing. Like, it was cool last year because it was GOT BTS. And they do have a genuine friendship and relationship. And it was exciting to see that. But will y'all ever allow the boys to have a solo stage of their own? NC, uh, what, NC-127 had a moment um twice and ioi twice isn't like twice and ioi are rookies they should share a stage but you have 17 and um girlfriend share this long shit i'm just i'm not griping about how the things were set up it's just at what point do you acknowledge that they are actually out here doing something when does that happen the award that they won that's because we were tweeting and posting and voting on a regular basis that's how you actually get it you get the, the public acknowledgement it's awesome it proves we love them they know we love them and they love us but this is like I'm tired of them having to reintroduce themselves when you've been around for three years. Suffice it to say, and this is jacked up to compare, but this ain't Top Dog, where Top Dog had the same amount of members as EXO at one point, came out the same time as them, and nobody know who the hell they were or are. This isn't the same, and it's not because I am a fan of GOT7 that I'm saying this. These are people who were put into public television through when tv when yg entertainment was establishing themselves for winner and icon well icon came well after the fact but like we know who they are jj project wasn't new we know who they are so at what point does all the hard work get a little bit more of an acknowledgement yes we got nominations and we got nominations last year but all we seem to accomplish is is fandom base awards i just it's good that we finally got stuff on the the music shows. That's exciting. And I remember every single win. And I will never forget yesterday either. But I want my, my boys to, to get a little bit more acknowledgement. It would mean so much to the fandom. And it would mean so much to them. They work so hard. And the least that could have been done was that y'all don't take the one moment that they're on stage. The one moment for them and put Monster X's name on it. Nothing wrong with Monster X. Hell, Show New was an original member of Guy 7 who actually probably would have been in the place of Jackson. But, like, that's just, <laughs> it's just low. It's low. So, um, just a little peeved by that. Uh, by that. Um, 
I, to hell with it. I'm going to go ahead and address the other stuff too. Since we're just going to talk about mama, I was going to leave it right at guy seven, but no, I'm going to say a few other things. Uh, when will Vix get any type of acknowledgement when they out here giving us a whole year of a concept? Like they been around for a while too. They deserve that type of acknowledgement. And BAP, nobody said jack shit about BAP. At least Tayman was there to represent Shiny, but like, it's just really interesting how these awards work. Um, it's just, it's it's just interesting. And I'm sure if I paid more attention now to the Grammys, there's quite a few snub moments like this as well. But I just like Vix and BAP don't deserve any love either. Are you serious? And all of this crap about these so-called fandom wars, all you young ass fans, when you get the F over yourselves, it's not that deep. It's not even what's going on. There's entirely too many proven instances of these groups being friendly with one another, having each other in their cell phones as, as dependable contacts and whatnot. Don't, don't get beside yourselves because you just got into K-pop the past two years and think that the whole damn world revolves around one group. Y'all got to cut it out. We are being, and I'm saying we because I am a part of the newer generation of fans. I got into K-pop in 2012. But we are being an adverse influence on something that is positive. Let's not can we just not i've had to block some people and mute some people on social media platforms because i'm tired of hearing them complain about the same shit it's ridiculous these people make music this is their job this is their entertainment life they are not here to specifically individually entertain you okay like cut it the hell out and then the final thing the final thing with the stuff with Wiz Khalifa and Miss Shanae Shide. I need y'all to get the hell off of her, okay? If she didn't know Wiz was black and had tattoos and everything, do you think a collab would have ever been done on the song they already did together? You need to think much higher and think about the things that are politically going on in South Korea and open your minds past the music and past Opar and Orni and learn something. There's a lot more going on. There's a lot of censorship going on over there. And China is very specific about what they will and will not let in in terms of Korean entertainment right now. Much the same, they can do that to other nations as well. So leave that woman alone. Shit, we know she makes bops. She's wonderful. She's phenomenal. She's a part of one of the largest groups, a part of one of the original big three. And the big three could have themselves tied into some of this shit going on with their president over there. Much the same with YG Entertainment. Um, Yeah, I know a lot of y'all are still reeling. And now you trying to drag the other YG groups or previous artists and things. Don't be mad at them. They didn't do anything. They did nothing. This is all the choices of the people who are on the managerial side, not the artistic side. So just cut it out in 2016, okay? We ain't got that many weeks left. So, um, yeah, that that's, that's what I wanted to say about the mamas. I have to go back and watch some performances and perhaps react. Uh, December will be heavily committed to GOT7 because there's months of things that I just didn't get to do. And, um, I mean, that is my priority fandom now, <laughs> given the circumstance that the life of a black jack came to an end. So, um, yeah, I'll get that content out. But I got to go get my banana bread out of the oven. I just wanted to get these things off my chest. What do you think? Leave your comments below. And I also will put the link to the video of GOT7 winning in the description, just in case you want to watch it. All right? Bye, y'all.